As the game of football has advanced over the past 100 years, the players have gotten bigger, faster, and stronger, and unfortunately, along with this, the amount of concussions have risen. Due to the sheer force of world-class athletes impacting against each other, the likelihood of some level of head trauma is very high. This occurs in all levels of football, and can even be seen hitting close to home at OU. Many players and professionals have had their football careers shortened due to the effects of a single or multiple concussions. To combat this rise in concussions, some states have even made efforts to shut down football permanently. In response to this, the National Football League has even offered up millions in research money to find ways to prevent concussions. This is where we, Halo Helmets, comes in. Here at Halo Helmets, our specialized team of four engineers work together to bring you the pinnacle of safety when it comes to concussion prevention. Our two mechanical engineers, Mike Treenan and Daniel Wynn, specialize in the overall design and max force impact testing involved with the helmets, while our two chemical engineers, Alicia Long and Caden Cable, focus on the material properties and testing of the inner components of each helmet. The Halo 1 is a game changer in terms of concussion prevention. The Halo 1 is similar to the shape of modern football helmets, but adds an overlay of 1 inch thick aerogel on top of the original shell of the helmet. This layer of aerogel is then followed by a flexible resin that can warp with impact. The mechanics of this aerogel allow it to absorb an impact and disperse the force through the aerogel like a ripple, instead of allowing the full force to concentrate at a single point. This allows the Halo 1 to minimize large amounts of force and instead distribute the force out. In comparison to other New Age concussion prevention helmets on the market, the Halo 1 offers a more complete protection than Riddle's Flex model, but at a slightly larger price. Another competitor to the Halo 1 is the VC's Zero 01 model. While the Zero 01 has a groundbreaking design, a steep cost of $1,500 prevents implementation at lower levels of football. Here at Halo Helmets, we plan to reach our funding goal by May 15, 2017. We expect a tangible prototype by July 10th, and after six months of extensive testing, Prototype 2 will be complete. Laboratory testing will continue, and any tweaks will be ironed out so that we can begin team testing in August 2018. Team testing will conclude in November, and a press release will signal the beginning of product ordering. The first helmets will be delivered to clients mid-January of 2019. Materials will include aerogel sheets, Poron XRD impact foam, shell materials, face masks, and chin straps, and will cost us $263.76 to manufacture each helmet. We are estimating three times the cost of the helmet to cover the cost of labor, utilities, shipping, and profit for a final manufacturer price of $799.99. To bring this product to life, we are asking for $600,000 to cover the cost of machinery, testing equipment, warehouse rental, labor, patents, travel, and networking in exchange for 33% of the company.